you like my new tutorial intro thing? Yeah, I figured I would do something like that because that's what all the cool kids with like actually reputable accounts on YouTube are doing. So anyways, here's my mani for today. It's kind of a badass edgy gradient if you ask me. So I co-host a weekly challenge on Instagram and today's prompt was fishtail. So nothing about fish, it kind of looks like a braid and I think people confuse this as a braid, braid, fishtail, herringbone, I don't know. I don't even know if I got this right. Is this a fishtail nail art world? I'm not sure. In any case, this was my second attempt at the fishtail mani because I did this one first and it kind of just looks like one of those colorblind tests where you're supposed to figure out what the pattern or the number is and uh, I still can't figure it out. I kind of thought it turned out like a nail fail, so I didn't make a video on it, but why don't you guys tell me? Do you like this enough? Do you even want a tutorial on this? Because if you say yes, then I will make you one. And let's get started. So white base coat using my all-time favorite white Color Club French tip. The link is below. I get it from Live Love Polish. And after I do that, I put on one of my favorite liquid latex barriers, Simply Peel, to protect my skin from the messy gradients. Gradient monsters are everywhere! So you can find out more about this liquid latex magical potion by clicking that little corner link thing and watch my video if you haven't already heard me speak for 16 minutes. You really should. It's really a good time, I promise. I picked these three bright colors I got from Live Love Polish because they are awesome! And I know that the gradient doesn't really make sense in like a rainbow fashion where you might do like pink and then purple and then fading to blue because like that makes sense with color logic. But I don't really care because, you know, I just thought it looked prettier this way, okay? We can all be different, it's fine. Dab, dab, dab with a makeup sponge. Then I peel off my Simply Peel and um, yeah, almost perfect. I mean like I can't always be perfect with my peels every time. So every now and then I do get a little bit of polish up in my cuticle. So I tend to just take a toothpick and gently push it out. And then I'll use an angled eyeliner brush with acetone later. Okay, I'm not the poster child today for gradients with no mess. Give me a break. Quick dry top coat because we're gonna put on some nail vinyls next. Let it dry approximately 15 minutes or so. So before we move on to the nail vines, I want to show you this part of the mani that I did that I hated, that I changed later. On my accent nail, I kind of thought it, I wanted the reverse of what I ended up doing. Thought that that would be cool, you know, just to like have something different. And um, yeah, so I painted this and then I tried to make the lines thick like the striping tape width and it just like wasn't working out. It just wasn't doing it for me, I don't know. So never mind, and I took it off and I started it over. Shit happens, okay? Back to the middle nail. I took some stripe nail vinyls from Twinkle T, and uh, you can use my code simply for 10% off. Do it, do it. Use my code, buy all the nail vinyls. Let's see how many people will buy just because I said go buy them. So I like these nail vinyls because they're thicker than striping tape, and I wanted to make more of the gradient actually show. So I found this random black sparkly polish, it's NARS Nightcrawler, um, and I think I've had it for like eight years, I don't even know, that's why the cap is really disgusting. But it's so pretty, like wow, like it's black and it's like a galaxy. So I just thought, you know, it was time, let me uh, try something other than hollow, because this is not hollow, because there's no rainbows. If you don't know what hollow is, then we can't be friends. So I just painted on over the nail vinyls, do not let it dry, and then take a pair of tweezers and peel up one nail vinyl at a time, starting with the ones that you put on top of the other ones. You know what I mean? I, I can't use words today. There you go, look how cool that looks. Badass, yeah. So you can see I switched my accent nail back to the rest of the mani. I showed you this in my last video, but let's show it again. So I just cut the edge of the polish soaked sponge off and then I have a fresh new sponge to use next time. Yay, look at all my sponges, they're so pretty. Hey, this little sponge went to the market. This little sponge came too. Okay, I'm sorry, I haven't slept very much today. Add a final top coat and um, you're done. Make sure to leave a comment below if you actually wanna see a video on that 
messy dot a cure fishtail colorblind eye test Manny because um, I, I made the video so I might as well show it because that's like a complete waste of my time anyways thanks for watching and then she says meow meow <laughs>